Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the GC with the boy. The D to the E to the double L A. Yeah, hello, so my people, you're welcome. If you're new to this channel, please kindly like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I bet. Right. Thank you very much. Nigeria, the my election just finished, they finished the my election. Um, the Tuesday, um, the results came out, and um, people, some people are happy with the results, some are not happy with the results. Others too are angry and people are talking. It's making Nigeria to trend. You know, since the election start, Nigeria has been trending with all the candidates, the Peter Obi and Tinibu and the rest. They have been trending and they have been struggling for power. Yeah, so this morning the results came out that um, Bola Tinibu, Bola Ahmed Tinibu is the new elected um, president elect of Nigeria and 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 Charlie. Um, I think um, with what went on during the election, we all saw it, the heat during the election, um, celebrities throwing support to um, their candidates and also um, how things went down, you know, there was chaos some, in some part of the election and some parts, you know, it was going, with, you know, and there were other parts that people thought uh, some candidates would win, but they didn't win and it came as a surprise. Actually, Obi, uh, uh, Peter Obi, actually was rallied well on social media, and it is said that election is not won on social media, but it is won on the grounds. So, what people are saying that is that Peter Obi spent so much time trying to convince the youth on social media that he couldn't reach some of the people who were not on social media. So, to that, he lost. You see, when a man lost, and, and and he did very well. He did very well with some big, big, big margins. Some people, some Nigerian people, don't agree with the result that has come out. Tinubu uh, is is a right hand man of um, President Buhari, and you know Tinubu is a great man. When I say great man, he has influence. He's been a governor of Lagos before, and. Actually, people are saying that the man doesn't deserve to be president. Why? Some people are complaining that looking at his age, he is not supposed to lead as a president. And this is one of the things where they worry um, African, you know, the African continent. The leaders who are supposed to lead the people, you know, it's not like an older person can't lead the country. It's not like an older people or an older person can't lead a country. As an older person, you are supposed to be wiser, even wiser, and more and more experienced to lead the country to, to the peak where it will be a beautiful country to live in. But it seems, it seems in Africa, it has been a canker that it'd be like the older people are elected into power and they know the seat up. You know, let's put something wise. As an older person, looking at his age, I'm sure Tinibu is more than 70 years. He should be more than 80 years. I believe so. But if you look at, um, if you look carefully for in Wikipedia, you go see say, the man, they say he be about 70 years. That means um, ex-president or President Buhari is older than him, who is about 75 plus. And people are also saying, this same man we are saying President Buhari is older than him. He was a senior of President Buhari in school. So what shows that this is the real age of Mr. Tinibu? You know, so people, they know a lot is coming in. A lot is coming in. And this is what Tinibu had to write or say after he was announced the president-elect. Yes, so my people. So this be what Tinibu wrote after um, he was announced the president-elect of Nigeria. I shall be a fair leader to all Nigerians. I will be in tune with your aspirations. I shall be a fair leader to all Nigerians. I will be in tune with your aspirations. Charge up your energies and harness your talents. You will charge up your energies and harness your talent to deliver a nation, to deliver a nation that we can be proud of today you have given me the greatest honor you can bestow on one man in return 
I will give you my utmost, I will give you my utmost as your next president and commander in chief. Many people are uncertain. Listen, oh, many people are uncertain. He knows very well that many people are uncertain, angry, and hurt. People are angry. People are really angry. You know, I reach out to every one of you. Let the better aspect of our humanity step forward at this fateful moment. Let it begin to heal and bring calm to the nation. So, Mr. Tinibu is saying, President elect is saying that he knows some people are hurt or people are hurt and angry, which is very true because if you listen to what people they talk for street for Nigeria, the kind of tweet people are tweeting, some people or some or most of the people are not happy. They are not happy. So if they are not happy with you, how can you rule people who are not happy with the president of the nation? But he's telling them to calm down and 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 let's build this together. You know, um, let's begin to heal and bring calm to the nation. So he says, even though you guys are angry and not happy with him being elected, which he knows very well that he's, some people are not happy, but some are also happy. He says we should calm down and bring calmness to the nation. So even though you know they like him, he's still saying, I am your president. But whatever you go do, the results came that he won and we should calm down. Nigeria should calm down. Nigeria you should calm down and bring peace to the nation. You know, so, so this is what um, President-elect Mr. Abola, Mr. Bola Ahmed Timibu. But for um, a man of his age, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think he can be able to sort out the Nigerian people. Truth to be told, you understand? There are videos of him when he was walking and he almost fell down. And people are saying, is this the president who is going to lead the nation that when they are mentioning or singing the national anthem, he raises up his hand instead of you know standing and you know singing that is that is the national anthem so my people let me know what you think about the election of nigeria and the new president elect mr bola ahmed Tinibu. people are not happy people are not happy african youth for stand-ups because some of these things will happen it'd be like presidency no be presidency is not a business you understand one family to another family one friend to another friend that is not presidency presidency is not games it is not gimmicks it is not because i know this one this has invested in my party so he has to be the next person to no no africa must stand up african youth must stand up this is getting out of hand and, it, and it's really happening all across africa some africans are really doing well but on the west side of Africa, it is becoming a problem. The old men are not allowing the youth or the people who are capable to rule the nation. I am not saying this, but if you read tweets coming out, people are not happy. People are not happy. People are not happy. You. People are not happy. It's about time that the African youth stop tweeting and only making social media comments but rather if what if you feel like you can rule the nation in the best way school educate yourself and put yourself in that position it's not about writing and tweeting and that let's read some comments let's read some comments you know it's really serious before i read some comments on twitter and ECOWAS visited all the um, delegates or the candidates for yesterday, I mean, I think yesterday, um, ex president of Ghana, Mr. John Dramani Mahama, was there. And you know, people are saying, Why is he there? Why is he there? He's part of the ECOWAS team who is also uh, making sure there is peace and harmony during and after elections. So he was there actually to speak to each and everyone, and also after that, to congratulate the winner or the one who's going to take over from. The next president so mr jamahama was there uh, he was the former president of the nation ghana and also a member of the ndc so people circulating that why is jamahama there he was there to do his work so let me read some comments let me read some comments you know somebody say damage control what if he's the fresh young blood 
that turns things around for Nigeria. Yet, some people are also saying they believe he can turn things around because they know what he's capable of. You know, so it's, it will be all the people with the no day thing going back. <laughs> the ECOWAS executive for the supply or provide anti sleeping tablets. They mean, so this guy is trying to say, looking at the age of Mr. Tinibu, he's going to be sleeping on the work. So the ECOWAS people for provide them with what? Anti sleeping tablet. Anti sleeping tablet. So that he will not sleep on the job. Others are saying, ah, but what's wrong with Nigerians? For voting for the walking dead? Same mistake Ghanaians made a few years back. I beg, I beg, I beg. <laughs> All right. So, is this actually your new president? He's even older than my Cameroon president. No. You know, so you all know so the Cameroon president too old very well. And the new president of Nigeria, if he's to be older than the Cameroon president, then you know what I'm talking about. Africa for you. Africa for you. Africa for you. Hmm. Somebody also posted, he said, Peter Obi won on Twitter. That was what I was saying. Presidency is not won on Twitter or on social media. It is actually won on the grounds. It is not social media and all the celebrities following you. And you may think because of the way they are following you and give you all the encouragement, you will definitely win. It comes more than that. It be more than that, cry. It be more than that. So upon all the hardship, now them they cry, them still vote give the reigning party again than MPP. So he's saying that upon all the suffering, Nigeria, see, shortage of fuel, there is no fuel in the country, people are hungry, water, bills are rising, and then they are saying we are still voting for the same government, the same government or the same party that uh, you guys are complaining about, you vote give the same party. So that means you guys know the year, you guys know the year, aren't you guys feeling the pains? Aren't you guys feeling the pains? This is so very, 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 it breaks my heart. It really, really, really breaks my heart. Hmm? Huh. Somebody said they have gotten their own version of Nana D. <laughs> Ghana and Nigeria are truly neighbors. Yeah, that might be true. Ghana and Nigeria, we are neighbors. And sometimes it'd be funny. It will shock you. Say these people, they are all together. They know what they do. See, the election that they can't do, them. Arrange and put down long time, long, long, long time. Make nobody like you, make nobody like you. Eh? And somebody says, like it or not, he's the president. And that comment, Tinibu will be one of the best president Nigeria ever had. Hey, so he's saying, uh, someone is saying, Tinibu will be the best president that Nigeria will ever have. Wow, 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 wow. So I beg my people. This word they go on for the ground. Yes, yeah, so my people, this word they worry me for Africa here. It's been a long time and it's been a while. Let us all add our voices. Eh? Make we not add on our voices. It is not about Twitter and social media. It is getting out of hand. It is really, really, really getting out of hand. If we don't take care, if we don't take care, mm, as ex-president Obama said, Africa doesn't need strong men. It should build a strong industry, not strong men. It's not about lifting ballot boxes. It's not about what? Lifting ballot boxes. A word to a wise is enough. Please, let me know what you think about the new president-elect, Mr. Mr. Bola Ahmed Tinibu. Make a note what you think in the comment section. My name is D to the E to the lower LA. I'm out.